All right, what's going on everybody? We are back. This is Varric here. Uh, we're back on the PD2 grind. We're back in Pluggy, trying some new things out. Um, this is a build I made in Pluggy, but I'm now, uh, it's on live, it's single player, right? So your Pluggy characters transfer to your single player account. Um, so just to kind of avoid any Pluggy bugs, uh, I, I put it on the single player character just to, uh, just to really play it live. But I wanted to show you a couple iterations I've been testing on the Flame Bellow build. Um, as you guys know, I was a big Flame Bellow Whirlwind Barbarian. Uh, you know, did all the videos about that. But, you know, I wanted to keep trying. I wanted to mix it up a little bit and see what else you could do with it. Uh, I did do the Fire Thrower. So, you know, obviously it wasn't Flame Bellow, but, you know, still kind of having that fire damage uh, core that I did with Throw. So there's a couple of videos I did on that if you want to check my YouTube. But here, I, I wanted to keep at the Flame Bellows and see what else you could do with it because, as you know, with Barbarians, you have a lot of different builds you can do. Um, so this one in particular, we're going to do a double swing build. Uh, so this is Frenzy double swing, right? So double swing is the primary damage, and you're going to just build up your Frenzy uh, with the Frenzy ability. So you're going to make sure you maintain that throughout the whole time. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get after it. So that's the intro. Uh, let's go through the build. <clears throat> so we'll start with gear. Um, you're gonna a lot of things will be familiar, right? So we have the flame bellow Balrog blades now These are pretty GG. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. This this gear setup is pretty expensive um, But you can probably get away with just like a four socket slammed flame bellow uh, Whatever, but we'll go through it and you, you can see how I'm building it. So yep two flame bellow swords with uh, ED DS slam and a, a four socket box <clears throat> on the helmet we have Halberd's Rain, um, which I think is really good, especially for these melee builds. The the PDR is really nice. Uh, the free battle cry is nice to break those immunities, and uh, just overall, it's a great helmet. In this, I will I will say we have 1540s, right? It's pluggy. I was able to do that, um, but you you real, you don't need 1540s, right? You just need 15%. Uh, you need 15 IS gems, jewels in here, so. Uh, you get to hit that break point. So not necessarily need the 120 enhanced damage shorts. It's obviously helpful, um, but you can get away with less. Uh, on the amulet, this is a plus one uh, High Lords. Uh, so obviously also going to be expensive. Plus one is not necessarily required. Just add some nice damage to that to the double swing. Um, so you can kind of have anything here, but you really just need the eye increased attack speed to help hit your break point. Gore Riders with some faster run walk. You know, you're zooming around the map, so it helps, helps to have that. Um, Raven Frost with 4% Mono Leech, so you do need Mono Leech here. Um, yeah, I mean, you can use a Dual Leech Ring, but then you need to get, cannot be frozen. Uh, theoretically, to make it more, a little more, uh, cost-friendly, you could probably do like a Raven's Frost and a, and a Dual Leech Ring on, on the other side. But here I have a Wisp Projector, uh, with some extra Life Leech for that extra survivability. Um, so... Belt, we have String of Ears with increased attack speed. Um, so the PDR is super nice. And uh, yeah, that helps us get the break point. Corpse Morn with three sockets. Uh, yep, usual kind of flame bellow build. I get that Corpse Morn. Lots of fire damage. Uh, the revives are really nice. And lastly, Lava Gout with uh, increased attack speed. Um, you need the 30%. You could also theoretically do uh, Blessing of Hands, Laying of Hands, excuse me. But uh, the, the fire damage helps scale with, helps with the flame bellow. So good to have more and more fire. <clears throat> and you get the enchant, which is nice. But you also get that from the Merc. But that's our gear. Merc's gear, infinity, flickering flame, gives the fire resist aura, which adds our fire damage, adds to our fire damage. Um, Templar's might just get a little extra might. Gore Riders, you know, not necessarily need those. Probably can use some, like, Marowaks for CBF. Um, Nosferatu and lava gout so nothing all this is interchangeable we don't really need it just kind of obviously infinity uh templars might and flicking flame are the big ones um also in i oh, sorry i didn't do charms but charms are just fire damage small charm large charms uh just a random assortment fire damage small charm that's huge <laughs> uh anti torch on swap we have uh grandfathers do that for our big shouts Skills, or excuse me, stats, uh, pretty much just, you can sort of smorgasbord it, right? Enough to use your gear, um, enough decks to get some good attack rating, but you're going to get some juicy attack rating from your Wisp Projector as well. So you can kind of mix and match how much strength and decks you want. You do want enough strength to do some damage uh, to help out with sustain, 
The annoying thing with uh, dexterity is it only applies to one-handed weapons. What I mean by that is uh, you get enhanced damage bonus from dexterity and strength, as long as it's a one-handed weapon. But these are considered two-handed weapons, uh, even though I can wield them both in one hand, so you only benefit from strength in terms of ED. So dex does not really help your ED. So I could actually probably lose a little bit of dex here. Um, I can't do it now because I'm, I'm not on plug anymore and add some more strength for some more damage. But regardless, uh, dex and strength and you know, a couple of vitality, obviously, to stay alive, get to like 1500 health when you're buffed. Um, or you can dump more into vitality. You know, you're doing so much fire damage, but I do like to have some strength to make sure I'm helping out with my sustain because you're not sustaining from your fire damage. Skills, lastly, <clears throat> Uh, double Swing and Frenzy are both maxed, right? We're going to max all of our um, synergies. So all three synergies, Stun, Double Swing, and Frenzy are maxed for maximum damage. As you, as you can see, that's some serious 18% per level uh, for our synergies. So we want that for sure. Um, I'm only doing one point in each shout, right? So one point in Battle Command is, is going to be way less than 18% ED. So we want to make sure we're spending our points in our synergies um, this is free because we have halberds. We're maxing out general mastery. Uh, combat reflexes increase speed, natural resistances. Um, I could have put more into battle command, but I put more into iron skin just because I'd rather be a little more tanky. Um, as you can see here, my damage reduction is 37. So that's pretty sweet. It'll go a little higher after I do my shouts. One in natural resistances. Yeah, we're not resistance capped either, so that could be better. Um, but hey, it's soft core. We're gonna have some fun. Have some fun. So let's get to it. I think we went over stats, skills, gear, Merce gear. I think we got it all. Um, so I, I do want to, I'm going to kind of go quickly through a couple of these maps. I have six maps I want to show you, right? We have cows, we have uh, Zoltan Cool, and we have sewers. I'm going to do it on fortified and not fortified. So why don't we just kind of speed run through a, we'll, we'll start with non-fortified and then we'll do fortified. <clears throat> and I'm really only going to do a couple so we do have to stack our frenzy up it takes a while that's kind of annoying i mean it's the nature of the skill so it's not really the, the builds blame um i would love them to fix that and make that a little bit better but so as you can see now we're now we're hitting double swing and we're doing some damage so every once in a while you hit q you hit your frenzy just to stack that up you probably have an immune there since they're not dying that quick maybe not all right, so the reason the reason you really don't want to or the reason you want to do fortified maps on builds like this is you know they, there's only just so much they can do um, you know because you're not whirlwinding through mobs you're you're really only limited to what you can hit that's in front of you um, you can't really go through through mobs like whirlwind can so you're just your movement across the map is less so you kind of you don't want as many as much density you want more uh, of those fortified mobs. So there it is. Uh, it's pretty fun. You're zooming around the map. You're going really fast. You're you're like one tapping things. As long as my mercenary keeps up with me, still got a nice little army to spread yourself around. Because you're so fast, it's not as much of an issue that it was with whirlwind. That kind of has to go everywhere. Um, you know, we were not stacking our frenzy up quite as much with whirlwind because it is clunky and we don't like it. But here we can because we're zooming around the map anyway. And uh, yeah, so that's that. Keep at it. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. <clears throat> we will try something cool, non fortified. I guess I should have done cows fortified that way. Whatever, we'll run through the non fortified and then you'll just have to remember. <clears throat> Stacking up that frenzy. I know I'm not hit. I know I'm not killing anything. We're not doing, we're not doing full clear runs here. We're just showing the damage it can do in non-fortified maps. And to let you know, I am going to follow this video up uh, maybe tomorrow with a berserk video. So stay tuned. Right. So we're getting pretty deep into into enemy territory, and we're we're not doing too bad. Um, you know, we're able to keep sustain pretty well. You'll definitely benefit from some. You'll definitely benefit from some FHR, some fast hit recovery. So you want to make sure you have that. 
um, just because as you're in here swinging away, if you're getting uh, if you're getting put into hit recovery and you can't get that life steal, uh, you're gonna have a gonna have a bad time. Oh, looks like we got a immune. Yep. So this is an immune. So we can see if we can break that, and we can. So we break that immune with our free battle cry, and we move about. We go about our day. All right, so this is Zoltan Cool. There you have it. I don't think I need to show too much more. We'll just we'll just kind of have some fun go through this pack here. All right, that's that. Uh, I don't really necessarily think I need to show bosses. It does bosses pretty well. Um, certainly don't you certainly don't like destroy bosses, but uh, I didn't really have much of an issue. Whoops. Oh, you know what? I haven't even been summoning my um, Wisp. I had the wrong key down to it. Well, here you go. Now we have our Wisp and we'll be a little stronger. <clears throat> so, Frenzy is still not all the way stacked up. Again, me pleading to the devs to change Frenzy. It's a great ability. It just, it just is, it feels really bad to use. Even when you have a build that's supposed to use it and uses it pretty seamlessly, you still spend way too much time stacking it up and it's just frustrating. So, again, moving through, doing well. Kicking some butt, not really having much issues in terms of staying alive. Um, again, your clear speeds are not going to be that of uh, Whirlwind, but you are still moving pretty darn fast. And you kill him pretty darn fast. All right. Not much more I need to show here. Okay. Let's get into some fortified maps and see how we do. See how they look in comparison. We'll start with cows. And here you go. If you want to see the map. 15% max life, reduce physical damage. That's pretty much it. All right. So we got some fortified cows. Let's get after it. Let's build up that frenzy. Look at that, my mercenary level. Good for him. Remember, we are we are P, um, increased attack speed capped. We do have to build up our frenzy to max to get that cap. So just to let you know, you you do have the max frames at 105, but you do need Max Frenzy. <clears throat> Alright, so, get a nice big pack. Remember, this is fortified. These mobs have physical damage reduction. Um, soft physical damage reduction, but it's still there. Um, so our fire damage is doing a lot. Alright, and you're, you're zooming through uh, fortified maps pretty well. So that's good to see. And I just, I just love these corpse mourn armies. They're just so nice to have. Um, you can really go in pretty recklessly, and and they're just gonna target them, right? They works pretty well. <clears throat> All right, so that's that map. Let's keep going. Let's get into Zoltan Cool. There's our. Is that? All right. Build up frenzy. And remember, this is fortified. And yeah, there you're still you're still crushing pretty good. These scarabs are physical immune, right? So that's where we're relying on our fire damage to to really do the damage, and they handle them pretty pretty darn well. I will say if I come up against fire immune stuff, um, you still do decent damage, but you're not great. It just takes a little bit of time, but you'll get them down. Even better with Berserk, because Berserk has physical damage reduction, um, so you, you do pretty well there. I remember the Mercenary is, uh, or don't remember, I never told you, Mercenary is Blessed Aim, so I am at Deadly Strike 76, which is nice. 
So that's max deadly strike. So um, that's pretty awesome. Let's see what this guy is. Uh, I don't think he has anything. Any immunities? Nope. And he dropped very fast. <clears throat> so that is fortified Zoltan Cool. Zoltan Cool Story Row. And there it is. So let's uh, let's do our last map here and get into the fortified sewers. Sewers does have a fire resist and it does have fire absorb uh, with 25% increased max life and it's fortified. So this is a pretty pretty uh, juiced map. Um, although the nice thing with sewers is the fire resist mob are those little worms and they're like, they die super fast. Or maybe it's the flares. Pretty sure it's the worms. Oh man, now we're really zooming. Still stacking up frenzy. All right, we're stacked. Oh my god, we're so fast. Keep up, mercenary. Oh, it's the fetishes. That's who they. All right. Still, we handle them very easily. So we got plenty of physical damage to take care of those fetishes. Um, and just keep remembering this is a fortified map, and uh, we're handling it pretty well. I'm excited to show Berserk. Uh, we'll show that next time. I'll probably do a video tomorrow for it. <clears throat> I don't know why I did that. Um, yeah, it's it's a pretty cool build, and it sounds really cool when you're Berserking mobs, and they you chunk them pretty hard. You do some serious damage with Berserk. So <clears throat> you can see it's pretty cool. It's pretty strong. You move around the map really fast. Actually, we might be getting up to a boss here. Whoa. Well, you're not invulnerable. <laughs> That's scary. All right, yeah, we'll, we'll fight until I, I believe this boss here based on the layout of the map. Maybe not. I saw lightning. Nah, it doesn't look like it. All right, never mind. Still, that was it. Um, that's the double swing, Frenzy Barbarian, Flame Bellow style. So, you know, just another way to mix up the spec, guys. Another way to mix up Flame Bellow build. Um, I had fun with it, I had fun making it. You still hit all your breakpoints, right? You hit your attack speed breakpoint. Um, you got some nice fire pen, you got some nice fire mastery, got some nice leech, you're able to survive pretty well. Again, you can kind of mess around with your stats. You probably don't need all that dex. Uh, I think I forgot to restat after I was playing around with a thrower. Um, so you can get some more strength for more damage. You can get some more vitality for more survivability. Um, you could probably get your health way higher than 1500 um, and still do just fine because you got all that fire damage. But that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, stay tuned for the Berserk build that I will do. Um, should be pretty cool. But hey, if you like this video, please be sure to follow, uh, like, or subscribe. Um, I don't think there's a follow. Yeah, I think it's just like or subscribe. <laughs> so like or subscribe uh, if you enjoyed it. I do love making these videos. Um, please feel free to ask questions in the comments um, or to give your opinion if you like it. If you hate it, happy to hear it from both sides. Um, but anyway, guys, that's it. Have a good day. Take care.